a Microtech 1100 <clears throat> AHX2 router here. Um, let me see. It's I got power plugged in. We got power coming in here, but we don't have no power on the Microtech unit itself. Uh, now, what's pretty amazing on this is uh, this was working. We went to go upgrade it to a uh, CCR 1016. And uh, we noticed whenever we pulled it out the rack that uh, whenever I unscrewed the um, ears here <clears throat> from the rack that the unit powered down. So I have checked the power supply. Be sure we were getting voltage out of the power supply. And I'll go ahead and stick the probes in there and show you that we are getting voltage. Uh -huh. Did a little bit of troubleshooting on this thing, so. We're getting, we're getting 12 volts to the board, but uh, the board's not powering up. So for giggles, I started troubleshooting. I'm thinking, you know, what's going on? Why was it powered up? And, uh, so I plugged in a PoE to the front and um, no go. So then what I thought about was at the tower location we use shielded ethernet going to the grounding block. So I said okay, let me set up a shielded jumper and uh, try plugging into it with the power supply. So whenever we do that, we get power on it. So I started tracing the circuits out here in the power supply. And uh, I'll plug this so I can explain what's going on. This is the power supply that's normally connected to the city main. This is two bridge rectifiers that are fed from that port 13 on the front. Now, the reason why they put two bridge rectifiers in here instead of just a diode is if somebody accidentally plugs in a crossover cable you're gonna reverse feed the Microtech and they didn't want that to happen so whenever you hook a rectifier up to DC all it does is ensure that the output is correct so this is the two AC inputs here and here and this is DC output here this one is negative the next one's positive negative positive so that just ensures that no matter how you connect this thing that uh, with a PoE powering over a PoE you're going to get the proper polarity coming into the power supply. This is the positive pin from the AC power supply over here. This is the negative pin. This positive pin here goes through, get the focus in it goes through this diode right here now once this makes DC on the inside the microtech this output of this diode and the positive output from this bridge rectifier and this bridge rectifier is all paralleled so I went ahead and started tracing the, through the components here try to figure out what was going on and I found this resistor right here see if I can get it to focus on that it's actually a zero ohm resistor. Um, probably, probably be better to call that a uh, a link jumper or something of the something of that name. So, really, there's no point in having that in there unless you're working on it. Um, a zero ohm resistor of this size can actually carry about. 12 13 amps of current somewhere around there before it pops so if this board's pulling 12 or 13 amps of current it, it's gonna this resistor ain't gonna matter anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this resistor up with the hot air gun I'm gonna pull it out I'm just gonna put a jumper in there that's gonna make this unit functional again I'm just heating this up with a hot air. This is a a really cheap hot air station that I bought. You can get them on eBay for about 50 bucks. And uh, 
comes in really handy. He's going to get that resistor nice and hot and lift it off the board. And then I'm going to clip a, a lead off of a resistor or a capacitor or something and use that to uh, bridge this. This sucker soldered on there pretty good. Well, I may have to take that off with a regular iron. Clean the tip up right quick. I'm just going to take a capacitor and I'm going to snip a little bit of the lead off. Just get that lightly tacked in there and then I will take a bit of solder and be sure it flowed real good and the resin tied into it. All right, let's go power it up. All right, we're back over on the test bench. I'm just going to. So there we go. This, uh, we're not using these in our in our professional wireless internet service network anymore. Uh, we're moving to the cloud cores, so this one will end up being a uh, ham radio router. But uh, for you guys that are actually using some of this equipment, you may uh, take note of that zero ohm resistor right there. That uh, all it is is jumping the negative from the the bridge rectifiers and the uh, which is the PoE side of it and the AC power supply is just jumping the negative over to the actual board. So just thought I'd give you guys a uh, heads up on that.